Now, think of farming, and many of us will think of a tractor pulling a plough. But now, some farmers are abandoning the centuries-old tradition, claiming it damages the soil, and that by using a different approach, they can improve yields and reduce costs. Our rural affairs correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, reports on a radical new way of farming. A very blustery day on Overbury Farm just north of Tewkesbury, and I've come to see how a farm with no ploughing or cultivation can actually work. Are you doing any ploughing on the farm at all at the moment? Very, very little. We have a couple of specialist crops that we need to do a little tiny bit of ploughing for, which equates to probably 5% of the farm. But the rest of it, right up to the hill on the Cotswold Brash up there, down to the heavy land, is all under zero till now with, the, with these cover crops. These fodder radishes are not the main crop, but their roots are basically doing what a tractor and plough used to do. These fellas here are actually doing all our cultivation for us. So if if we're very, very gentle, and it's all it's snapped off, but that taproot is doing a lot of our cultivation for us. The main crop, peas, barley or wheat, is then planted directly into the cover crop next year. There's no ploughing first. And to do that, you need this new piece of kit. So you need one of these machines to carry out this system. Uh, this one was imported from New Zealand and it's not cheap at over £100,000. But already there have been savings. So for example, because you're not ploughing so much on the farm, you don't need to use so many tractors. And in fact, they've managed to reduce the tractor fleet here by one. And that's a big saving. Now this new approach can bring some new problems for farmers. Now there are a few things you need to watch out for. And just here, look David, if you look very close. Uh -huh. Slug we eggs. Pretty well done. We have three little slug eggs there. So that's enemy number one in this scenario, it okay. is the slugs. So we need to watch them, we need to manage them. We'll be following Jake as Overbury Farm enters its second year with no ploughing at all and seeing just what impact this radical new approach really has. David Gregory Kamal, BBC Business Today, Tewkesbury.